Hello, people, and welcome to a playthrough that I've been putting off for a long time. I'm just not sure of how well I'm going to do at it. You probably have played this, this to a little bit of an extent. I've never gotten I oh, that far into it. As in, you know, progress wise. Because I do have a lot of trouble with it. It's not that I don't like the game, it's just the combat system is really hard for me. But anyways, welcome to Legend of Dragoon. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the memory cards now. I'm just gonna make sure that the memory card errors are registering properly. Okay, good. Wait a minute. One second. I'm trying to remember where my watch got to. Excuse me, one second. I wanna take a quick look to see if I can find my watch. Hmm. Sorry about that. I can't remember where my watch had gotten to, but I found it on the floor. I think it fell off. Alright. Let's just go ahead and start a new game. See that file that you saw there? That's kind of my... Pr up above? When I was checking to make sure that the cards were registering? That's my practice file. Yeah, and I don't really know what to. I don't really have that much to really say during this cutscene. So I guess I'll just go ahead and let you enjoy the cutscene. So I'm just gonna stop capturing the commentary until the cutscene is over. So I'll see you when the cutscene's done. So, this is her. Is this really necessary? It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. So basically, the whole village was attacked to abduct one and girl. Her name is Shauna. And 
And, well, technically this is another cutscene. <laughs> like how the clouds are kind of ominous. And, well, here's the first character we actually meet. A, that's, you know, not in, it technically, you know, animated like it was in the last cutscene. That thing down there that looks kind of like a mantis is, is a dragon. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Fairbrand. At least that's how I think the name's supposed to be pronounced. And we, it, it is a boss much, uh, quite a bit later in the game. And this is actually quite a, a bit one of the, uh, the first really advanced and PlayStation 1 games, as far as I know. In terms of length. Yeah, it's, it's just so big that they had to use four discs for the hey, whole game. But you can also get on the PlayStation Network for PlayStation th um, the PlayStation 3. I don't know if they're going to do that. Had ever going to do that for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, however. And I'm, I'm using my PlayStation 2 Slim. Is I don't actually own a PlayStation One, and I did not want to use an emulator. And the and <laughs> dragons coming up have on them, so here it is. And this is actually one of the boss tracks. So I'm just, for a moment, I'm just going to be quiet and let you listen. Okay, hey, no more of that boss music for right now, but don't worry, it'll be back later. And this character right here, who's showing our main character with the, about the, with the, his, the that's a dragon he was facing, her, I, I will spoil this much, her name is Rose. I don't remember, I don't remember if she even has a last name, but... That she is the first party member that we get that actually has Dragoon to begin with. And Props is the only one that starts out with being a Dragoon. And yeah, I know, spoiler alert. But we do not encounter till, I don't know, three quarters of the way through disc one, I think. That's when she formally gets introduced. And I do know some more information, but I don't feel like spoiling it just yet. <sighs> Not too much longer until our first battle. I will try to explain the, the battle mechanics. Though I struggle with the is trying to get the timing down. Part of it is I'm just really inconsistent. Consistency is one of my greatest weaknesses in this game. 
but it's not completely my fault. Part of the game itself has to share some of the blame. Because the combat system is not that forgiving. And you hear that? Sorry, I was just closing my closet doors. You, know, you can use the left analog stick to move around, or you can just use the direction pad. In conjunction with the uh, circle button. Anyways, yes, we have to go here, so. I wish I would just let us lose th that chest before getting in combat. And these. Anyways, two soldiers are being absolute jerks. So, our protagonist decides to teach them a lesson. By the way, his name is Dart Feld. He's been on a quest it's for vengeance, but I'll just uh, understand what the vengeance was later. Yeah, I like how the I hate, this scene kind of crumbles like sand it's through an hourglass or something. And I don't know how else to describe it, but I do like it. I wish that more role-playing games did that. Anyways, if you guard, you can block half the damage and replenish health. And items, well, we don't really have that many yet. Then we can attack, so we have to target this. But then there's gonna be a... I'll just try to demonstrate it. Oh, I messed that up pretty badly. I'm gonna try again. Okay, good. That that was called an addition. And you saw the that one thing was closing with the square. But that when it, as soon as it overlaps, that's when you have to press the X button. Okay. Managed to get correct again. Two for three so far. That's not too bad. You're doing slightly better than usual. Just slightly. <sighs> and I'm not gonna really read the text. I just I'm not want to read out loud. I never really did like to read out loud. Anyways, let's go and loot this chest. Yeah, let's go ahead and press triangle. You have to press triangle to access the start menu, which I feel is kind of dumb. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and save and use file two for this playthrough. I need to keep a bit of a close eye on the recording to make sure it's doing okay. And here is going to be our se uh, second battle that's forced upon us. Uh, so, <laughs> hard basically come home to find his village burned to the ground. <laughs> and the bird's about to get scared. Always a sign that something gets something bad's coming. And here's another big soldier. I 
Huh, yeah, right. <laughs> The three versus one. Normally, that should would be a mismatch. All right, let's not mess this up. Okay, good. And that one, and eh, the soldier kind of backs off, scared. All right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> You're darn right. And he just used a double slash against us. All right, we're doing. We got him on the ropes. Uh oh, he's about to use a burn. Oh no, he's healing. The jerk. Time to just in time. Okay, good. We beat him. Although we are weak. Come on, give me control already. Hmm, I'm trying to just... Yeah, I probably better, better save in case things go sour. But first I'm going to use one healing potion. Just one. I'm just gonna try to conserve them. I guess I better save now, in case things go sour. I guess I just took the long way there. All right. Looks like I have about 15 more minutes before I have to quit recording. And that man that we just one of the people we saw there was the person who who taught Dart how to fight. Oh, I forgot to mention, but there's, there's, you might have seen the thing called uh, a slot, uh, it's some sort of, I don't know, folder or whatever thing that said armed. Well, I have to tell you that most of the equipment is, is character specific. Or at least a good chunk of it is. Especially the first items that you get that are not, you know, one time use items. No, and this here's this jerk here is frugal. He's the head warden of Helena Prison, and he's got a really nasty attitude. He's really nasty.
Uh, by the way, uh, yes, I will spoil something about the man in hood. Well, his name is Lloyd. We first as officially encounter him in a, a, a town called Lohan. In some sort of tournament. And he's turn. He's part. As you see, he's with the enemy. But if I recall correctly, near the end of the game, he has a change of heart, sort of. But he does not join the party. Anyways, I'm just going to kind of try to. You know, I want to try to. Okay, good. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guard the heal. That thing right there is called a Trent. We heal faster than it, it can damage us. I just want to bring myself up to full before I actually begin to wail on it. Okay. I think I'm starting to get the timing of this down. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Alright, so far I've only missed one. That's actually really good. As far as you know, the addition is concerned. And now that my health is up, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Again. You can save on the overworld without use of a save point. Which is actually a good thing. Alright, let's enter the forest. Okay, I'm trying to remember how much currency I've got. Uh, oh, we don't have that much money. About to, you know, I'd like to grind on aim for levels on the overworld. I'm about to get attacked. That's why I have that red arrow. Uh, see? That, I mean, that red triangle. The, the color triangle when you're. Not in the overworld indicates whether you're about to get attacked. And you can't avoid the attacks unless you use a charm potion. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that rooster. Ooh, a one shot. That's nice. Okay, we're. I think I might actually be getting the time. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what item mean, that that Trent just used on us was is called. Uh, we we got the better of it anyway. That's good.
Okay, we've got blue arrows, so that means we're okay for the moment. I'm gonna go and look these chests before I actually take the correct path. We're about to get attacked again. Uh, what's this? An orc? Oh, it's a goblin. Let's go take care of this bird first. Oh. <laughs> that was actually a pretty funny sound. But this is a good strategy I have right here to just guard, to just bring me up to full health. I'm in danger. Alright, let's go after him. Yep. <laughs> That's not that big of a deal. Yep. Fact, I don't think I've ever encountered that goblin, a goblin before in this game. Ooh, wait, he had a healing potion? I need to look at something. Oh, yikes. Alright, this is the correct path. I'm gonna do a lot of healing in the next fight through just guarding. You know, fine, I'll just go run around in that area. I just want to pick a fight. Well, I just went, I'm picking a fight so I can heal. I don't like being this. Vo I mean, like, okay. That's a pretty nasty rooster. Okay, we're pretty good now. Oh, dang it, I messed that up. Knew that was gonna happen eventually. And I definitely need to get better at these additions. At least I'm doing pretty good on health now.
And I don't know what that thing is. No, oh, the darts having a little bit of a flashback. Oh, well, let's let's stretch here. It's possible to get attacked. Matter of fact, I probably will. Yep, I'm about to. Oh wow! Really? Wow, that's awful. All right, good. You have a decent amount of gold now, at least. And I think we're a good place to stop for today. Alright, folks, I guess I'll see you on the next video. So, so long, everyone.